Welcome to stage seven, and in stage seven we're going to start work on the cargo hold. So first of all, as you notice, we've got some of the parts here, and we're going to need to remove these from the sprues and then clean them up on the edges where they come off the sprues with a small needle file or some fine sandpaper. So the first thing you're going to need are some side cutters, and the side cutters are for very easily and very carefully removing the parts from the sprue. Okay. Once you've done that, you then need to get a file and then just clean up those edges where that piece of burr was from the sprue, like so. Okay. Now, you need to do that with all of these parts because we're then going to be fitting the seats and the bunk pillows together. Okay, so remove the parts, keep them nice and clean and ready, and we'll come back for the next part of this stage. Okay, once you've cleaned up all the parts, we need to then lay the cushions out like so. Now, you'll notice that one of the cushions, okay, has got, if we have a look carefully, I'm not sure if you can see that, you've got a tiny, tiny little ridge on each of these. Now these are square. Now if you look at these ones, these ones are triangle. Okay, so the ones with the triangle extrusions on them are on this side, and the ones with the square protrusions are these two on the ends. And there's a reason for that, and you'll see that in the assembly of the bunk. So get some super glue ready. Okay, and just gently follow and carefully follow the instructions. Test fit in everything first, like so. And as you can see there, we've got one of the bunk cushions in position. So once you've done that, get your glue, glue that down into position. Now, once you've done that to both sides, take one of your curved triangular cushions and Place that in position just to test fit, as you can see there, because you'll notice it's got a curve. All right, and take one of the other ones as well. Once again, placing that into position to test fit. So it gives you the curve, and you can get an idea of what that's going to look like. Once you've done that, glue those down into position and do exactly the same for the other half of the bunk. Now, once you've done that, you can take one of the halves, and this is where the final two flat cushions go, and you can fit both of them onto one end, like so. And then once you've done that, we'll then glue the two halves together. So now we have the two halves with the cushions on. Take the two halves, and with the pins lined up, Push the two halves together, gently squeeze those, and then apply some glue. Take them apart and apply some glue, gluing those back together. Okay. Next, take the base of the seat and the seat cushions and just test fit and you'll notice how that fits in there. And then using your preferred glue, either that would be super glue, and glue that down into position. Now to complement this stage seven, we're going to be doing um, some weathering on some of the panels. Okay, now this is an optional technique, um, and as you can see from an original part, the original part is quite dark, whereas where we've then gone and dry brushed the other panel, you can see some of the detail stands out, and this is quite a simple 
way to do this. We're going to do the seats in a minute. So first of all, we're going to need some light grey paint. Okay, and we're going for a, an acrylic, which is a water-based paint, and just put a little tiny drop into the thing, and then make sure that you get all of the brush covered in paint, like so. And then we're going to take it off, and you get your tissue, and you're basically wiping all of that paint off. Not vigorously, but just enough so that it just leaves a certain amount of paint on the tissue, barely seeable, okay? And then once you've got that part, you then get the brush and you'll just gently backwards and forwards across the panel like so. And then As you can just about see there, you can see that the detail has popped out. It's that simple. Don't forget, even though you think you've got all the paint off your brush, make sure you give that a good clean in water. And then leave that to dry. Now to age the seeds we are using a different technique and this technique is called um, inking and what it does is it allows the paint to sit in the recesses of the parts of the seeds. Now for that we need some black paint and we need some water on the brush because we're going to really water the black paint down. Okay. A bit more. Okay, like so. Now we're going to get some tissue because we're just going to test this just to make sure that we've got the right consistency. And if you look at the tissue, and then as you do that, you'll notice that it all spreads out. Okay, now that's the consistency we're looking for, which is what is classed as a milky consistency. So take your seat. And then just gently apply your water wash over the seat. It's difficult to hold, but you can never do that with tweezers. Okay, and paint that over the seat like so. And then take your tissue, make sure it's completely covered as you can see there, and then just with the brush soak up any puddles of the paint. Okay, and then Let that dry slightly, and then once that's dried, get a clean part of the tissue, or we'll get some new tissue, and then all we're going to do is just gently wipe that away, so that it just leaves some of the dirtying in the recesses of the seat, if you can see that all right. Okay, so when you've got the difference between the two, you can see that in the next photograph as well. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you can then go ahead and glue all the seats and everything into the cockpit as shown in the instructions on page 13 of your magazine.